Okay, guys, before I can actually move on to task 10 to 14, you need to understand the bank screen. So what I'd like you to do is get a blank piece of paper and draw a big rectangle like the one on my screen. I then want you to draw a line half in that rectangle. We're going to pretend that this is the bank screen on Sage. And the only four icons that I need you to learn are the four that I'm going to show you in a minute. The left hand box is basically all money going out. So I need you to write out. The right hand pane is all money that we receive in. So whenever you're doing any payments or receipts on Sage, if your money's going out, you look on the left hand side. If money's coming in, you look on the right hand side. I now want you to draw four boxes like I'm showing you there, on your paper. Now, if we're giving money out and we've got an account number and a name, or even both, then that means we're paying our suppliers. So then the icon we'll click on is supplier payment. If we're receiving money in and we've got an account number or account name, maybe even both, then we'll look on the right hand side and we will click on customer receipts. But what would you do if you don't have no account number and you don't have an account name? That means that the transaction either coming in or going out is not one of our suppliers or customers. It could be you going to the petrol station to buy petrol for your car or the van. Well, they're not your customer or your supplier. So therefore, we need to know what icon we would do for transactions when they're nothing to do with a customer or supplier. So for example, if we were paying money out, maybe to HMRC, we can't click supplier payment because that's only for our suppliers. And we can only pay the suppliers that we created with the account number, name and address. And we never created any account number or account for HMRC. So we would look on the outside, which is the left-hand side of our box, and we would select bank payment. That's telling us that we're paying someone out of our customer or supplier range. Again, if we're receiving money in, and the person that we're getting money from could be a customer coming in off the street. We don't know them. We don't know who they are. They have no account with us. We're not going to refuse the money. So what we will do is we will click on bank receipt. And this is the easiest way that I can help you to understand the bank screen.